If your steering wheel vibrates when you press the brake pedal on Kia Optima at high speeds, David Dyson will explain what the things can cause that. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any V having a Kia Optima. If you guys have a Kia Optima and every time you press the brake pedal, your steering wheel starts vibrating and the faster you go and you press the brake pedal, the more it vibrates. Stay with us, we'll explain guys what two things can cause that. Now that's very common guys and uh, don't stress out, it's not too complicated to replace, it's just general maintenance and we'll explain what needs to be done. Make sure to stand to the end and we'll explain what these two things are now. So, if you guys have a Kia Optima, uh, generation 2010 to 2015, uh, that video should be helpful. It may be even helpful on the later generation because uh, some, some things are interchangeable. Uh, let me introduce you to the channel quick. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix pretty much anything. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. In addition, guys, uh, all we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. If you need to buy any parts, tools for your Kia Optima, we will also share the link in the description of the video below where you can buy tools and parts for a really good price and quick shipping as well. That's where we get all our supplies from. Another thing, uh, if you guys uh, want to see our main YouTube channel, how to repair guys, you can find quite helpful information for vehicles that can save you thousands of dollars guys and we're appro approaching, uh, approaching 400,000 subscribers so uh, we have videos that can save you quite a bit of money. So we have the front left side, uh, front left wheel removed here on that Kia Optima, we're working on the brakes guys, <coughs> front right side will be exactly the same. This that we're talking about guys, when your steering wheel starts vibrating, when you hit the brake pedal at higher speed guys, that's known as brake pulsation. What causes brake pulsation? Usually guys, it will be caused by, uh, most of the times by front wheels, because the front wheels are the one that turn. And uh, brake pulsation, when you apply the brakes, okay, the brakes will start vibrating, it will transfer that to the uh, tie rod, from there it will go to the rack and pinion, the steering wheel, and you feel it inside and the whole car will start shaking. So, what causes that now guys? You have the brake, disc brake rotor, you have two brake pads, you have the brake caliper. The brake caliper, when you press the brake paddle, okay, pushes the, the oil fluid, braking fluid, okay, it expands and it's going to expand that caliper piston, it will compress and it will actually compress the brake pads towards the disc rotor and that's how the car starts stopping. But when you go fast guys, okay, and your disc rotor has a low and high spots guys, which you cannot see with your eyes, it may look perfectly fine and ours, okay, we let it sit now for a few days, it rained so it rusted, but uh, ours right here we have a low spot okay and sometimes you cannot see that at all guys what happens guys when you hit the brakes okay they will be contacting the rotor you have low and high spots that you cannot even detect with your eyes you have to have it on a machine okay to detect that and it will make your brakes pulsating guys and that will increase with speed the faster you go okay the more pulsation you will have the only okay uh, way to fix that is have your disc rotor if it's really thick it's still in um, good condition it's not eaten it's not thin you can take it to a machine shop they'll check the minimum thickness and they can resurface it they cut the top layer off and they make it nice and even in my opinion just go ahead and replace the brake pads and the rotors guys it's not very expensive and we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get all that from for a really good price and quick shipping as well also we have a video how to replace disc rotor and brakes on kia optima number two what else can cause that sometimes brake pads that are glazed what that means when they get old they get hard if they were used quite a bit let's say you're going through a mountain pass uh, you use them quite a bit for a long uh, for a longer period of time your brakes got really hot the brake pads fright they can create that glazed finish on top it will look like mirror guys and that can cause skipping okay and that can cause brake pulsation as well those are the two most common things that we see here at the shop and I would recommend just get a new order, new brake pads, and that will fix your problem. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.